we already know why the hell we out here, man. in a book. But he said, ye shall do these things and greater. Alright? If you believe on him. So he said, what? You couldn't watch for me one hour? So to look at Yahweh Shai and believe in Yahweh Shai, and if you slip, you're going to drown in them waters of affliction. Alright? And the flood of lies that's been placed in front of us. Alright? That fire of adversity. What's adversity? Adversity is when you have an opponent against you. Like demons or Esau or your woman or this life or your job and, and, and affliction, the waters of affliction. Affliction is a pressured situation to where you're forced to move. So what does that mean? You can't be stagnant. You can't just hold this truth. You got to fight. The Lord going to force you to fight. All right? Oh, you got that? Second Ezra 9. Oh, y'all move. Yeah, need some fire, y'all. 9 to 1? Yep. This is Second Ezra 9 to 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest the part of the signs past, right. which I have told oh. thee before, right. Go ahead. then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right. How is he going to visit? Through destruction, man. All right. So he said, measure the time. How do you measure it? By reading and through the prophecies. Right. He said, these pastors have not seen Yahweh Shai. We see him. We don't have to see him physically. We see him by his word, by the word of truth. And what the word says, watch these prophecies. So seeing the prophecy, the spirit of the Lord is what? The spirit of prophecy. So by seeing the prophecies, we see Yahweh Shai. All right? We see the truth playing out right in front of us. Right? Verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even right. from the beginning. See, that's when you're going to know that the Lord spake of these things, but who did he speak to? The children of Israel. And beyond that, who did he speak to? The, the elect. Right? He spoke to the elect. He told us everything before it happened. Right? Because these things are going to happen. But the difference is between us and them is that we know what's going to happen. And the difference is that we have that hope. That's the difference. That's why you can't come in this damn camp or come up to any brother that's been doing this work and act like you want to fucking teach us. You can't because there's a difference. The, the difference between me and you or, or, or us and y'all, man. All right? Verse 5. For like is all that is made in the world hath a beginning 
and at the end. And the end is manifest. Right? The end is, the end is manifest. The end is manifesting itself right now. The end of the so-called white man's rulership on this goddamn earth is over. It's over. And they know it. They know it. Right? And you know what they're gonna do once they really realize it? That's when they hate is gonna be perfected again. It's gonna be activated. And you know what's gonna be activated in that time? Your faith. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy trouble. Right? The day of thy power. So lock it. Verse 6. Even so, the times also of the highest now plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Right, man. Endings and effects and signs. Right? So what's effects? Like, you look at a movie, you look at special effects. When you see the special effects, that's when you know they're taking it up a notch. You know, they're trying to deal with your imagination a little bit more. And that's what your house is going to do with us. He's going to add special effects to this shit, to this movie that he watched. All right, because the so-called white man, if that bloodline goes back to Esau, you're going in this hardcore slavery. Right? That's your future. You have a future ahead of you. And it's not the landing. It's slavery. We gotta have faith, man. You gotta have the type of faith that you will be able to walk on fucking water. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta tempt the Lord. Don't go walk into a pool and try to walk on the shit. But if the floods show up to your goddamn house in the midst of all this chaos, you know what time we in. And you know what to expect. You know what your house child told us. You know? We see, uh, I call Julius Caesar Trump in office. You know what I'm saying? We see what he's doing, right? What happened? What happened during the time all them um, the emperors and, and Caesar was on the on the on the scene? Your house shot showed up. He was born around the around the time of Julius Caesar. And after Julius Caesar got killed, you had uh, Augustus Caesar. So we in that time period, man, when your house shot gonna show up spiritually now, but well, physically you know, from, from the heavens, boy. Right? So that baby has been born again in these times. Baby has been born again. What? That word, that comforter, right? But what happens when it's fully grown within us? We become fully perfected in our faith. You know what I mean? And then your house shall show up this Mark, right? Fourteen and twenty-two. And as they ate, as they did eat, the house shall took bread and blessed and break it and gave to them and said, "Take, eat. This is my body." And he took the cup, and when he gave, and when he had given thanks, he had gave it to them, and they all drank of it. And he said unto them, This is the, my blood of the New Testament, which, which is shed for, for many. Verily I say unto you, I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine until the day that I drink it new in the kingdom of Yahweh. All right, because scripture say, if you have a stock of corn, and it grew up by itself. That's just all it's going to ever be, to be consumed and eaten. But if you, if that stock of corn dies, then it's able to affect and plant seeds at a broader scale. And that's what Yahushua did. That's why Yahushua um, took Yahushua to the heavens, because at his right, at the right hand of the Father, he's able to operate and deal with us in the spirit, man. Able to uh, to reach more brothers that way too, instead of walking around on the earth. City to city. And when they sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. Right. And how shall I said unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered. Right, man. That, that's the shepherd. The shepherd is your And when when the when, when Yahweh Shah was smitten, we were scattered in 70 AD, all right? That's how you know the process was going to happen from that point. No servant is greater than his master. And in 70 AD, we got scattered to the western coast of Africa, North Africa, on the yard, you know, to the pit, where they say the earth opened up to help the woman. And then around 1300s, 
on to the 15 and 1600s, we got put over here in slavery and cargo slave ships, completely diminishing the head and the body of the children of Israel. But now, the head is risen, and now the body got to rise too. Go ahead. But after that, I am risen. Yeah, power, I will go before you into Galilee. That's right. But Peter said unto him, although, although all shall be offended, yet, yet, yet will not I. Right, so this is Peter talking. So Peter obviously had faith, right? You know, he wanted to have faith. But the scriptures say the flesh is willing, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Right, this was a perfect example right here. Because he's completely willing, that spirit that's within him, which is the spirit of the son of Yahweh, which is Yahweh Shah, is completely willing to serve. But that flesh is the battle. You gotta conquer the flesh, right? Before we could conquer these nations, right? But he still, even though Peter had that doubtful, that, that slight doubt in him, the Lord still built the foundation of the church upon him and not Andrew, all right? Right. And said, Yahweh Shai said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this day, even in this night, before the cock crows thrice, twice, thou shalt deny me thrice. Right, so he was like, yo, listen, you're going to deny me. And what did that represent? What was happening to Peter at that time? You know, Peter was seeing the oh, Peter was seeing all the affliction that was happening to Yahweh Shai. Right? And when he seen them afflicting Yahweh Shai, that's when he doubted. He said, no, nah, I don't know him. Woo. He said, I don't know Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Shah still forgave him. You feel what I'm saying? But not in these times. Not in these times, man. Because in these times, you're going to get presented with death. And are you going to say, I don't know the Lord? Are you going to say, I don't know Yahweh Shah? Right? That's right. Yeah. And, 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 you, and the thing about it is, why did that have to happen like that? All right. What if, if Peter would have jumped out there and be like, no, no, yeah, I know him, I know him, and they killed him too? He wouldn't have been. Uh, he wouldn't been able to be that force, that rock that was going to be built upon. Hey, that's a beautiful point. Go ahead. To be built upon, you know what I'm saying? So that order had to come. It had to. It had to come like that, and you, you have, and that gave him more faith. But for it to happen, you have, I told him it was going to happen before it happened. Yeah, and Yahweh and Shai had wisdom, so he knew if Peter uh, wouldn't have denied him at that point, that he would have been killed. And Yahweh Shai said uh, he didn't want to lose any any of any of the brothers that were given to your house. Give it to your house shot. All right? So he would that he would lose none of them. But my point is, you know, that's not my point. That's a good point the brother made. But my, my point is that are you going to deny the Lord when this thing goes down? All right? Because right. he said, now be faithful unto death. All right? All right. But he spent the more... Vehemently, if I should die with thee, I will not deny thee anyone. Likewise, also said they all. And they came to a place which is named Gethsemane. And, and he said to his disciples, Sit ye here while I, while I shall pray. Right, Gethsemane means garden of wine or olives. That was the area, the threshing floor where they crushed the uh, grapes at. And they have a little garden of olives and wine there. If you look that up on YouTube or Google it, it's a beautiful little garden, man. It's still there to this day. All right? And he taketh him with him Peter and James and John. Right. He took Peter, James, and John. Right? Uh, James, I think that James and John were both brothers. They were both the sons of Zebedee. And that John was John the Baptist. Uh, Clark, John the um, Revelator. That, that's what that John was right there. Then you had James the Lesser, which was one of the sons of Zebedee, because he was short. Go ahead. And began to be more, <laughs> be so amazed, and to be very heavy, and saith unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful unto death. Tarry ye here and watch. Right. And he went forth, forward a little, and fell on the ground and prayed, that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. Right, go ahead. And he said, I'm a father, all things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me, nevertheless. Not that I will, but but what thou wilt. And he cometh and findeth them sleeping, and saith unto Peter, Simon, 
Sleep is down. You know, Yahweh didn't doubt the father at all. He just didn't want to go through that shit. But he went through it. That shows faith. But what did he come back and see? He came back and saw Peter now. Right? He said, yo, you sleeping? You can't watch with me this one damn hour? Like, these times we in. How the fuck are you going to fall asleep like the boy your shark? I'm talking about, I'm done being an Israelite. I'm done with this Israelite shit. <laughs> like, yo, that dude got a faint, weak spirit, man. All right? So he said, yo, you can't watch with me this one hour, man. You're going to fall asleep back into the fucking world? Go ahead. All right. Watch, watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. Right. And everybody about to enter into temptation. Right? But you got to pray to the Lord to lead you not into temptation. Right? Lead you not by your own understanding. Because if you walk by this willy-nilly, you're being led by your own two feet. You're being led by your own senses, by the things you've seen on goddamn TV, by your hunger, by, by you're going to get some pussy. You're being led by the bullshit. Right? But you're not being led by the word, that light in the midst of this darkness, man. Right? But... The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. Right, kind of there go. The spirit is willing, but the is ready. Ready, he said the harvest is already ripe. It's ready. But the flesh is still gonna be weak. It's always gonna be weak. Right? But this this, this spirit can conquer the flesh, man. Alright, he said if you can if you can bridle what? Your tongue you'll be able to bridle the whole body. You see what I'm saying? Right. And again he went away and prayed and spake the same words. And when he returned, he found them sleep again, for their eyes were heavy. Right, they were sleep again. All right, because their eyes were heavy, man. And that's you people that, that say, I'm going to be out there with y'all to come teach. Y'all all right. All right, y'all have to, though. What's up, y'all? No, no, we'll go behind you. We're good. We're good. Hey, just, you might have to come up to him, because everybody would teach going behind you. And then that's when we basically blocking traffic. But appreciate it though. No problem. No doubt. Go ahead, bro. Latinos and Native Americans, that they're the true Israelites of the Holy Bible. I hear the teacher name that the true name of that who people ignorant to call Jesus Christ, and the true name is Yahweh Shot, and the Father's name is Yahweh. And that World War III is about to come upon us. Yeah, con. Hey, right honestly, I ain't saying that because we really don't care no more. It's like, if nobody get it, I care that y'all get it. Y'all seem sincere, but we don't care that, that nobody get it no more. The Lord looking for 144,000 men. All right, men, that's willing to stand up. If you walking by this, you know, you gotta go about your day, we caught you off guard. But if we see you again, you just walk by, you're not serious. That means you wanna praise Jesus, right? Jesus means hell Zeus, right? It's Latin, it's, it's Latin, you know what I'm saying? It's not even a Hebrew word. So the name you want is Yahweh Shai. I can keep it because that baby is too cold. But the name you want is Yahweh Shai, Yahweh. You know, Jesus Christo non Blanco. The Lord is looking for the Negro, Latino, Native Americans. 144,000 men that's willing to stand up and tell, come out here every week and stand here, even if nobody's out here, and teach to the angels, teach to the camera, to the world, and, and, and tell the people that America is about to fall. It's done. There's nothing here no more. And y'all feel it. You feel it. Even, with, even if we don't let our families know. We men. We feel that shit. You see what's going on in the world. And at the wild, you're like, damn, how am I going to protect my family at the wild? You know what I'm saying? The only way you can protect them, if you read Psalm 91, is to know the Lord's name. But you got to do the work that it takes to get to that name. You praying to Jesus, if you keeping Christmas, Halloween, Santeria, any of those things, Virgin Mary, then that's when you're sinning still. Because the last time we've been able to stand together like this is in Assyria. The land of Assyria? That's the last time the Latinos and Native Americans and the Negroes have been in the same land. We came, we split. That's when y'all came over to the Americas. Remember the so-called white man came over here and y'all was already here. You know, the Mexicans.